All right, so we're here with the Ionic 5N um, and we're doing a couple of charging tests. Um, so the main charging test I wanted to show you is um, if you're charging at Electrify America, for example, on a 350 kilowatt charger, you know, how much faster is that versus one of the Tesla superchargers? Because right now, Tesla doesn't have the V4 uh, cabinets uh, to do the 1000 volts because this is the 800 volt architecture. And so you're kind of limited to roughly half the maximum capability because it's a 400 volt charging system. So um, we're here uh, doing really the max speeds of the Ionic 5. We're in the 250 to 260 kilowatt range. And so I want to take you through that, show you um, how much more energy we add in you know, the same amount of time on Electrify America versus on the Tesla supercharger. At least the V3 or even the V3.5 superchargers uh, would be the same thing. All right, so we just plugged in and here cable cooling just fired up here. We're on a 350 kilowatt charger. Man, it just takes so long to see what's going on. Is it frozen? Here, let's let's go look in the car. There we go. Yep, 200, 208. Okay, sweet. I don't know what's going on with the screen. It's still frozen over there. Pretty classic Electrify America. Oh, there, it just showed up. Awesome, 208. It's saying we got 18 minutes until 80%. Okay, so we hit 28% and it jumped up to 250 kilowatts. Uh, that's pretty awesome. So we'll see how long we hold that. It's now saying 16 minutes to 80%. All right, so we are still absolutely ripping here. We're doing 261 kilowatts. Um, we've only been here eight minutes, already delivered almost 30 kilowatt hours. Um, so it's a little, a little weird there, but I think we've got about 10 minutes left until 80%. Oh, okay, so at 50%, it looks like we just dropped drop back down there so we're back down to 208 um, our bar is filling up here 209 so we're still doing a little over 200 okay it looks like we might start coming down here pretty soon okay so we just started a taper here 65 percent it dropped into the 160s there all right we're down to 146 now at about just past 70 percent all right, so, okay, 15 minutes, 51 and a half kilowatt hours delivered. That's awesome. Okay, we just hit uh, 123 kilowatts. Um, so on the Tesla supercharger, we'll have to see what we peak at, what the peak speed is on that with the lower voltage system. Um, but my guess is it's gonna be somewhere around this number. So, so yeah, I think if you're plugging in at this state of charge or higher on the Tesla supercharger, no difference. But obviously there's gonna be a much bigger difference at those lower states of charge, but we'll, that's what we're gonna go find out. Okay, 76%, we just dipped there um, to 114, and now it's still starting to come down some more. Uh, so it looks like we're gonna be under 100 here pretty soon. All right, we just went, dipped under 100 kilowatts there. Okay, we're at 81, 80 kilowatts now 57 kilowatt hours delivered so you can see we haven't really delivered that much more for staying like four more minutes um, obviously you're still probably gonna okay there's 80 percent okay so we hit 77 kilowatts and then I just want to let this charge just a little bit further just to see how much more of this comes down maybe we'll let it go to 81 okay there's 81 percent we're at 70 kilowatts all right, so we're down to 65 kilowatts now at 81%. So we're just gonna pretty much let the screen update one more time. So it'll be basically a 20 minute charging session. Okay, there's 82, we're gonna go ahead and stop it. So we're down to 62 kilowatts there and 60 kilowatt hours delivered in 20 minutes. All right, battery temps up to 120 degrees there, 82%. Great charging session. All right, so we just plugged in here at the Tesla supercharger and got the NAX adapter here. We're charging, which is awesome. So let's see what kind of speed we're getting. 
All right, so 126.4 kilowatts. So like I mentioned, um, you know, since these can't support the 800 volts, um, you know, we're probably not going to be able to do much faster than that. So we'll see after we car charge for a couple minutes if that comes up anymore. Um, but you can see the car is estimating 22 minutes to 80%, you know, and we started at 36%. So, um, you know, that's a, that's a definitely a pretty big difference compared to the 350 kilowatt station. All right. So holding steady here at 126. So yeah, at, at the Electrify America, the 350, um, you know, we were doing about 208 to 210 below 20%. And then once we got above 20%, we started ramping up to the 240, 250, 260. Um, so yeah, you know, we're doing roughly half of 260. So I suspect we're just going to hold 126 here all the way to 75%. So because we're not charging as fast, we're not pumping as much juice in there, uh, the battery probably won't get quite as hot. So we'll have to see if maybe we'll be able to hold the speed a little bit higher. Uh, maybe we can hold that all the way to 80. Well, we are coming up on 82% again. Um, and yeah, we tapered. Um, we didn't hold the that charging speed any longer. Um, so yeah, we tapered down um, just like we did at the uh, 350 kilowatt station. We're at doing 62 kilowatts right now, 61. Um, at 81%. Yeah, we were up to almost 45 kilowatt hours delivered in 20, 24 minutes. Okay, so I just wanna see if we end up charging any faster earlier or does it still take until about 20 to 25%, somewhere in there to get the full 260 kilowatts. 80. Interesting. 88. Now I don't know if that's because we're at a low state of charge or if it's the charger. Hmm. Okay, 129. It's coming up. 159, 173, 188. Here we go. 195. Okay, so we'll have to see how long we hold this. 219, 226, 230. Okay, interesting. Okay, so we're ramping up lower in the pack, so that's that's good to know, 240. Okay, and then we'll probably slowly come up to 260, my guess, as the voltage comes up. So yeah, even plugging in at that lower state of charge, it just took a couple minutes there, not even a couple minutes. 20, 30 seconds, and now it's it's coming up there. So, um, so yeah, you're not going to get penalized by plugging in really too low here. Okay, so we just throttled down here. We were doing about 260, and we've come down here at around 52%. Um, so I'll compare that to the last session just to see if that occurred any earlier this time, just because we started lower and ramped up a little bit faster that time. Um, so my guess is we'll probably hold this 210 um, until we get to 70 something percent now. Okay, we just tapered again, doing 200 kilowatts now, 58 percent. Okay, we're at, we were at 175, now we're at 165 at 63, 64 percent. Okay, we are at 67 percent, down to 120 now. Okay, we're coming up on 80 percent here, 85. 84 kilowatts. Okay, there's 80%. 61 kilowatt hours delivered. We'll let the screen update one more time for 20 minutes. Okay, there's 20 minutes. We're down to 77 kilowatts. So we'll go ahead and stop. Okay, so I just activated battery preconditioning. It says it's high. This was 127, so it's coming down. So we're gonna drive a bit and let it let it cool down. Okay, battery temps down to 120 there. I think once I got to 120, it went from orange back to white so uh, that's good we'll let it keep cooling down okay so let me show you the graph first because that's kind of the most interesting thing and fun part to look at so i have the two electrify america sessions here in green and white and then the tesla session in red um, 
and then along the bottom here I have time and minutes and then I'm showing both uh, kilowatts and kilowatt hours here on the same axes but um, you know the higher lines here this is going to be the charging speed what you'd see coming uh, from the charger on the charger display and then uh, kilowatt hours delivered to the battery along the bottom here. Um, so the Tesla session is pretty straightforward. It just ramped to that 126.5 kilowatts. And then once we got up into the higher state of charge, 75, 76, somewhere in there, then it starts to come down. Um, I'm not showing state of charge here just because each session started at a different state of charge. Now I'll show you that in the table in a minute. Um, but you know, one thing to note is it looks like the Tesla session holds power longer like it's going past the Electrify America sessions. Um, so in terms of time, yes, uh, it held this this rate for more minutes, but that's just because it took longer to get that to that higher state of charge. So, you know, there, there's really no advantage there on the Tesla session. It's just it charged slower, so it took more minutes uh, before the power started to ramp down. Um, so let's talk about the Electrify America sessions. So they're very similar and also notably different too. Um, so the second session, uh, at least on the screen, we, we saw it ramp up and it took not very long, but it took about a minute or a little over to fully ramp up. But we did start hitting that maximum charging speed uh, pretty early where the first session, um, now it's possible I didn't see this ramping just because the display was frozen there. So it might've done the same thing and I just didn't see it, but either way it took, uh, you know, somewhere around three to four minutes before it fully ramped up there. And I think the difference here is the temperature. So I'll show you the temps in the table too, but the battery started in the 70 degree range on the first session and then in the 90 degree range on the second session. So it seems like it wants to get, uh, I don't know what the exact number is, but it's probably maybe 80 something degrees um, before it's going to, you know, let, let you get full power. And then you can see once we got full power, both continue to ramp up and that's just because the voltage in the battery pack is going up higher. Um, I wasn't able to see the voltage on these chargers, but the one other time I charged this car in, in an older uh, video on the channel, um, the voltage is like in the high 600 volts, uh, a low state of charge. And then once you get up into the 50, 60% range, then you're getting, you know, closer to like 760, 770 volts. So you're just seeing the voltage come up here. That's what's happening. And then, um, you know, once we hit about just over 50% state of charge, then it starts ramping down and both basically follow the same profile. Now, the one other difference is the second session we throttled down sooner and uh, that I believe is also from temperature. So the battery got a little bit too hot and the cooling couldn't keep up with it. So it throttled it down more. Um, so yeah, kind of, kind of interesting, like, Oh, it looks like the second session is going to be a lot better. Um, but you know, we kind of missed out on some juice here. I'll, again, I'll show you that in the table in a second, but the second session did deliver a little bit more power just because, you know, we were charging at this higher rate here at the beginning a little bit longer where even though we throttled down more here, it's throttling down at a lower rate. Um, and then both, you know, come down about the same. So yeah, the Tesla session here, pretty boring, nothing too exciting. Um, the Electrify America session, when you can, you know, get the 350 station that, you know, can do the 800 volts, then, uh, you know, there's an opportunity here to charge quite a bit faster. Uh, but you can see there's quite a bit of ramping going on here. And it's also pretty sensitive to temperature. Um, so, you know, you want to have the battery hot, but not too hot. And then, um, you know, if it's too hot, then you risk, de uh, derating. And then if it's too cold, then you're not going to get the maximum speed. So it's still, even with all the thermal throttling, um, it's still significantly faster than the Tesla charger. Okay. Well, let me show you the table here. So, you know, we have the two Electrify America sessions, both 20 minutes. You can see the second session, we actually delivered, uh, two kilowatt hours more, and that was because we started at a lower state of charge. So we were able to have a higher charging rate um, on average for longer. Now we did derate earlier um, from the temperature, but we still delivered a little bit more energy there. So the first session we plugged in at 17% and we ended at 81%. Um, although the screen showed 82, but the 
you know, in the app it logged as 81. And then uh, the second session we plugged in at 13% and ended at 80%. So we're charging 64%, 67% of the battery. Um, you can see that second session, you know, it was 76 degrees Fahrenheit versus 65 for the first one. The battery temp also started higher on that second session. Um, and then the temperature at the end was also hotter. Um, so that makes sense. Now, you know, something to keep in mind is these are pretty ideal conditions. You know, it's not too hot. It's nighttime. So you don't have the sun beating down on the car. Um, I think I had a little bit of climate going. Sometimes I was out of the car and climate was off. Um, so I don't, I couldn't tell you exactly how much climate was going, but I mean, it's not hot outside. It was dark. So the car should have been able to use most or all of its cooling capabilities to cool the battery. Um, so if it gets hotter out or even if it gets colder and the battery's not at those higher temperatures to accept those faster charging speeds, you know, these sessions are going to be longer. So I'd say this is maybe not perfect conditions, but it's pretty close. Um, and then I just have average speed here. So peak speed, you know, 261, 263, basically the same average speed was a little bit higher because we plugged in lower. Um, and then let's look at the Tesla session. So this one we charged for five minutes longer, uh, but you can see we delivered quite a bit less energy. So only 45.4 kilowatt hours. Now we did plug in at a higher state of charge, 36%, but it didn't really matter. If I plugged in at 13% or 10% or 17%, it still would have been that same 126.5 kilowatts. It's not going to charge any faster because it can't do the higher voltage. Um, so, I think this actually helps illustrate the point better though, is, you know, we started, you know, at a, you know, roughly 20% higher state of charge and ended at basically the same state of charge. And we charged five minutes longer to do that. Um, air temperature was also not hot nighttime. Um, I didn't log the battery temps for that, unfortunately. Um, but I, 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 I suspect it was probably similar to you know, these temps for the session one, probably the end temperature would have been lower because, you know, we weren't charging at nearly as high of a rate. So yeah, five minutes, if you're taking a, you know, kind of a casual road trip, you're not in a big hurry, you know, the Tesla stations are generally going to be a better location. It's probably more likely to work the, on the first try. Um, so yeah, I'm not saying you shouldn't use the Tesla station, but uh, it's definitely going to be somewhat of a time penalty um, if there's an Electrify America or similar, you know, EVgo, Flying J, maybe uh, 350 kilowatt station nearby. Okay, so I want to show you a kind of hypothetical situation based on the data we've seen here. So if we wanted to deliver a similar amount, 60 some kilowatt hours, um, plug in low 10%, unplug around 75%. So we're getting basically the max speed we can get at the Tesla station for close to most of that session, I said average speed of 120 because we are probably going to throttle down a little bit at the end and maybe take, take you know, 30 seconds to ramp up. But, um, you know, it's going to take roughly 10 minutes longer uh, to deliver the same amount of energy. Um, so that's a pretty big difference. Now, you know, like I mentioned, it, you know, the, the Electrify America sessions were pretty ideal conditions in terms of it being night, temperature, all that. Um, so you might not see quite as much of a difference. Um, you know, if, if it's maybe super hot out or super cold out, um, the Tesla might be a little bit more comparable just cause you're not going to be getting up into the 260 kilowatt range. You might be stuck around maybe 200 or something on the, the on the 350 station. All right. Well, I think that about does it for this video. You know, hope, hopefully you found this helpful. Um, you know, 800 volts really seems like that's going to be the future here to get these faster charging speeds. Uh, but the infrastructure just isn't there yet. You know, Tesla is going to be a big part of that once their V4 cabinets start rolling out, but uh, that's going to be a little while. So, um, you know, definitely 800 volts seems like a good choice, but you're not always going to get those, you know, ideal fast charging speeds. So just something to keep in mind. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.